Paris has always had a reputation as a city of the arts. Here we look at why it has that reputation, and if it really is a city worth visiting for art lovers. The City of Love is one of the most popular places to visit on Earth. In fact, it competes each year, normally with Bangkok, for the number one spot. Many people who visit the city do so for its art scene, but what is it that makes Paris so popular for art lovers? You're probably thinking that's easy, it's the Louvre right? Well, yes and no. You're right in the sense that the Louvre is undoubtedly the most distinctive and famous museum in Paris, maybe the world. It holds over 38,000 works of art, including, probably, the most famous painting in history the Mona Lisa. You're wrong though if you think that's most of what Paris has to offer. Any other galleries and museums? Oh yes. In fact, Paris has around 130 museums and art galleries to visit. This is of course far too many to see while on vacation. If you're thinking about moving to Paris in order to see them, well you certainly wouldn't be the first person to do so. The 38,000 pieces of art in the Louvre must at least make it the biggest collection in Paris though, right? Incredibly it is not even close. The Pompidou Center holds a quite staggering 120,000 pieces of art, making it the largest collection in Europe. The king of contemporary art, many people visit solely for the extraordinary building design. You can even see the permanent collection for free, on the first Sunday of every month. There are so many more to choose from. Some of the best are, the Musée des Arts at Metier named after arts and crafts, but also Europe's oldest science museum. The Musée d'Orsay the second most popular museum in Paris, and the number one for impressionist art. Also the Pinault collection at the Bourse de Commerce, which is a more experimental and alternative art gallery. The city itself. If that wasn't enough, many people consider Paris to be a work of art in itself. It wasn't always that way Paris was considered an ugly city until the 19th century, when Napoleon commissioned Georges Eugène Haussmann to redesign the city. At this point, so much of the beautiful architecture and the wide-open boulevards came into existence. Nowadays Paris is such a splendid city to walk around, and you can feel like you're in a museum even when you're not. I should book my ticket then. You certainly should. Indeed, Paris is a great city to visit on vacation, and an even better one to live in for a few months if you can do so. It has recently been reported that Yukio have opened their first apartment in Paris. This means that, as well as the traditional options like hotels and hostels, it is now easier than ever to rent an apartment for a few weeks or months. Once you've found the right place to stay, all you need to do is book a flight, and you can come and soak up Paris' wonderful art scene.